we commence the second half of the yes, first I can. Is that John, is it? game in yes. 1988. Yes. That lady do attack up towards the half yes. forward line. Kick it can't. Quickly in Braddy can't get it clear. And the umpire's going to give a free kick. And it's going the way of Braddy, is it, for a push in the back. You want us to stop there or keep going? Was Johnny on? John? Pardon? Oh yes, uh, good evening and uh, welcome to Football Park for 10 Sports coverage of the 1988 Escort Cup. Uh, there's a good crowd in and uh, conditions are superb in the second game tonight. We'll see how much the Eagles have improved this year when they take on the Magpies. And in the current game, the Bulldogs are up against reigning premiers at North Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah, he's just coming. tried to get him going. That's a nice comment. They need to lose the chair. Oh, it's a big kick. It's home. It's home. Camera right a bit, Peter. That's it. Coming up. Stand by. Please. We've got a shot opener. Stand by. Good evening and welcome to 10 Sports coverage of the 1988 Escort Cup direct from Football Park. Well, there's a good crowd in and conditions are superb, it re they really are. In the second game tonight, we'll see how much the Eagles have improved when they take on Port Adelaide. Uh, and in the current game, Central District, coached by Neil Curley this year, uh, are up against reigning Premier's North Adelaide. And uh, at this stage, we're just... Uh, into, uh, we've just started the third quarter and North Adelaide are leading by a point so uh, a very good game on our hands. There's the quarter by quarter situation and uh, 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 at uh, the half time Central District 6-3 leading North 5-4. It was a pretty strong breeze in the first quarter. North took advantage of that but Central District jumped right back and uh, it's a really good game of football and uh, all eyes on Derek Kickett, the young recruit uh, from Western Australia playing a good game for Central District this evening. Well let's get right into the action now uh, with our commentators. Uh, David Darcy, Mr Footy Punt, Graham Campbell, and a man who's about to start his 24th year as a commentator, the little ball terror himself, in <laughs> day. Gee, I feel old, Peter, but thank you very much. 6-4 six, to 6-3, six, a ball up on the half-forward right flank, north by a point. As Peter told you, north led by 14 points at quarter time, but were down five at half time. The Dogs had a good second quarter, kicking with the breeze. And they go into attack. Hearn gets through. Hart tries to get it out. Comes back to Clisby. Chips out the pass. Andrew Jarman at centre wing. They send them into attack. Sims clear. Well directed. Off he goes now. Burton on the lead. So too is Arnold. With him back there is Hull. Fine mark. Or is it Botka playing full back in this? Mark Botka it is. Hull started at full back. But Mark Botka, Botka seems to be on Arnold at the moment. Yes, a fine mark indeed to Butker. He tried to look for Kickett, but couldn't find him. Intercepting was Daryl Hart. He goes short. The lead is from Burton, and the pass is beautifully put. So Burton now 45 metres out from goal. The chance to boot his first of the evening and to put North Adelaide in front by seven points. Kick on its way. Got the distance OK, and he's got it all right. First goal to Burton. North Adelaide now 7-4. Lead the Dogs 6-3 on 10 sports action. Oh, what a tough goal by half forward flanker Craig Burton, the will of the wisp type. He's a really quick player, and uh, that's his first goal, sure. But he had a hand in the goal earlier in the piece in the first quarter. He handballed one over to Stephen Sims, who popped through a goal from about five metres out. And uh, so he's had a hand in a couple of goals, Craig Burton. And he hasn't quite been in the game as much as uh, he would like. But nonetheless, that was a top goal. Five minutes gone, second half. North Adelaide now by seven points at the bounce. Big leap there by Redden, gets the ball down to Sims. Off the left foot, he goes into attack. This could bounce through. Going to be close, got the bad bounce. Hart back on the ball quickly. 
trying to stop it from going through his own goal line, but the umpire is uh, indicating that a point will stand. North move on now to 7-5, the Dogs 6-3. Talking of captain Daryl Hardy just figured in that skirmish then, he started uh, this game on the bench, funnily enough. Uh, the reigning Premier captain, or captain of the Premiers from last year, and uh, he came on the ground during the uh, during the second quarter. North lead by eight points, we're five and a half minutes into the third term. Big leap at the back by Ian Lang, not successful. Budner comes out of it for the Dogs, here's an opportunity, Thomas gets a good sit. He's clear at centre wing, looking for a lead. Off goes Gurdham, who's just come onto the ground and takes the mark. Gurdham pushes it wide, Smith, oh he's run into trouble now, he's going to lose this one. Andrew Jarman steals it from him. And North Adelaide have turned that uh, defensive action into attack as Jarman bounces through half forward. Almost caught by Kickett. Jarman's kick is not a good one. And it's centre half back Thomas it was that got the handball clear. Mould's in trouble. Sends it wide to Krieg who got a bad bounce. Stephen Riley to Sims. North trying to go forward. Or Carlaw flashed in. Takes it out of trouble. Wills onto the right foot. Boots it into the pocket. Getting over there is Lang for North Adelaide but the ball is out of play throw in or is it going to be a free kick out on the full Peter Butner to bring the ball back 7-5 play 6-3 both the first quarters were 21 minutes the second two quarters are going to be 21 minutes plus time on Redden gets the leap in but the umpire seen a free kick it's going to Andrew Moles at uh, centre half back in between centre half back and half back flank he edges the ball out of defence up towards centre wing big leap up there Redden at the third grab they're going to pay him to send North back into attack. He slips it back, taken by Darren Jarman. A high kick to the half forward line. Out comes Lane up over the top. Lang it was, couldn't get it. Bubner back in defence or rides a couple of bumps, but the umpire's seen a free kick, and that player will take it from half back flank. Peter Bubner with the ball. Goal kickers for Central District. Greg Smith has one. Derek Kick at boot of one. Stephen Lally got two and one each to Andrew Moulds and Rudy Mandemaker, while for North Adelaide, Stephen Sims won, Burton won, two to Sanders, one to Stephen Riley, and Doug Smart kicked two in the first quarter. North deep into attack, where Mark Pryor, who perhaps could have taken that, may have been not supported by some talk close by, but he finished up pushing it through for a point to North Adelaide. I really can't handle that when a player gives away a point he could well uh, avoid. That wasn't on by uh, Mark Pryor then. I agree with that. Uh, he may have got just a bad bounce at the wrong time, Graham, but in general, I don't agree with conceding anything, let alone points. Here's a new player for the Dogs, Paul Sullivan, recruited from North Melbourne. As he comes off the half-back line, goes up towards centre wing. Braddy spoils from behind. First in, or oh, going through was Green, lost it now. Clisby gets it out. Carlaw, centre wing, whips out a long handball. Burton, the speech is off, or oh, got run down. Great tackle there, and quickly now it's Lang. Got it out wide. It's Andrew Jarman. Does beautifully. Shoots for goal on the run. Closing. He's got it. Fine goal. Ninth kick. First goal. North Adelaide 8-6 to 6-3. <laughs> <laughs> Ten sports action bringing you the Escort Cup live from Football Park. North Adelaide leading now by 15 points. They're going forward again. Opportunity for Sanders. Through half forward he bursts. Sanders is a long way from goal but he'll go just about all the way into the square. It goes Sims. Oh what a fine mark in the square by Stephen Sims. Here it is again. Prior caught under the ball. Superb judgment by Sims. And he's got it now from point blank range. Stephen Sims, who kicked one in the first quarter. Bootsy second, North Adelaide go further ahead. The eighth kick to Sims, second goal. North 9-6 now, leads Central District 6-3. Yes, well, both Stephen Sims' goals have been from about five metres out. And that was a classic mark for a little fellow. He just stood his ground very well. Uh, never looked like losing this one, actually, Stephen Sims, just his strength. He's a strong little fellow uh, for, for his size, and that was a good mark. Finished off for the, his second goal, as David Darcy just commented on. And North are sneaking away now. A 21-point lead over Central at 9-6, playing Central 6-3. Yes, Graham, they had a deficit of five points at half-time. They're now 21 in front, as you said, so that's a big turnaround in the first 10 minutes. Ball smothered. 
Can't get it out hard over the top. The umpire will come in to bounce. Umpire Stephen Semler. And with him tonight in the first of the Escort Cup games in 1988 is Colin Ricketts. Ten minutes gone. Third quarter. Red and tried to hook it back. Sanders onto his boot quickly. Half forward line. The bounce determined here. Coming to meet it strongly. Couldn't get it. Little quickly out now. Burton. Carlaw through. 35 metres out. He's clear on the fly. He's missed it. Should have steadied just a little longer. But offline, I think there's a free kick going here, is there? Yes, the score doesn't count at all. And the ball is coming back some 45, 50 metres. And let's see who's going to get the kick. It's going to go to the Dogs, obviously, and take it in defence. David Green, I think it is, Ian, who brings it towards centre wing, looking for Jamie Thomas, and finds him. Kick it wanted it, but uh, Thomas was caught out of position there. Off he goes now. Goes short, Robertson had got into space, and he's got the mark. Robertson, who had a pretty quiet first half. This is his fourth kick, oh, he's gone short, that's dangerous. Intercepting Darren Jarman, no, the umpire's whistle has sounded. Darren Jarman will have to come back. And I'm not quite sure what umpire Stephen Semler in quite intended there, but Darren Jarman, who had uh, bolted away, has been penalised and has been brought back to centre half back. He gets it off to Clisby. Now they're bounding out of defence. Clisby will have to get a hurry on. He breaks the tackle of uh, Braddy. Fell to his knees, then got a handball, an effective one to Darrell Hart, whose kick was smut. No, it was Stephen Riley. Sanders gets it back in the direction of Riley. It's too long for him. And it's gone out of play, and we're about 12 minutes into this third quarter. It appears to me that uh, Coach Mike Noon has made a couple of tricky moves with North Adelaide. Andrew Jarman is playing on flank, and Darrell Hart, of all people, is playing in the centre on uh, Jamie Thomas. What a great dash then by Braddy. He stood up, Clisby some five or six metres, just kept persisting and didn't drag him down, but ruined the play for North Adelaide. Well done, Braddy. 9 6 to 6 3, bounce at centre wing. Players got a little aggro in that second quarter. Almost a free for all at one stage, but the umpire's quickly on it. In goes Hart, can't get the ball out. Darren Jarman, it was, or is it? No, it's Armfield on the turf. And quickly the ball goes from Hocking out now. Moulds. The big fellow did it well. Gets onto his right, left, or oh, geez, and he's 15, loses the footy. The umpire said he's been uh, pinged for holding the ball, and the free kick will go to Riley at centre wing. Stephen Riley puts it to half forward, or Hart had made space. Sanders now, Andrew Jarman back to Sanders beautifully. He's going to be caught. Was that a trip? No. Holding the ball, the decision. And the free kick is against Sanders, and will go to Greg Smith. Roosters leading by 21 points at the 13-minute mark of this third quarter. Greg Smith hands it off to Robertson. Robertson pushes him towards centre-half forward. Mandemaker, just an easy one. Well, Wildey, who hasn't had a good night, overruns that. Greg seizes upon it, puts it deep into the pocket. Take your pick out there. Getting back is uh, David Green for the Dogs. And he takes a fine mark running with the ball in the left forward pocket. Now he's within range. They need a goal. Haven't had a score in this quarter. It's 13 and a half minutes old. And there's hardly a dog player in the goal square. Green's drop pump, low trajectories coming back and hits the post. Oh, they needed a goal badly. They got a point only. They're 6-4, north of 9-6. Well, they did need a goal badly there, David, but they are kicking into a pretty stiff breeze, in my opinion. And uh, if they can hold north uh, to a goal or two in the ensuing 15 minutes, they might have a chance of winning this game, Central. Will D. Kicks the ball long up towards Smith. Red and too tall for that player outside. The runner is Carlaw. Does it well. Traps it nicely. Got a beautiful sit. He's clear. Doesn't know where to kick it at the moment. No one coming to tackle him. Now he draws a pass. Slips it back inside. Hart on the run. He shoots out long. Umpire getting underneath it. But it's just offline. One point only. Brilliantly conceived from the half-back line. But Hart's kick just wasn't equal to the earlier passage of play. Yes, that's true. Uh, it's a great passage of play by North Adelaide, and it should have been a goal as an end result. And Darrell Hart, as I said, is playing in the unfamiliar role of a centre man at the moment. North by 21 points. Peter Bennett. Caught by Van Dommel. Holding the ball, the decision, and that's probably the correct one. And Van Dommel takes the free at half-back. He chips in short. Into the space goes Paul Sullivan, a recruit from North Melbourne, playing his first game for the Dogs. Sullivan goes over the top, David Green, another first game player, puts it into the pocket, or Brady slipped at the psychological moment, Rowe takes the ball but takes it out of play, and the throw in will be taken at left half forward. 
Well, it's crazy. Don't forget it. 6.30 Sunday night with Jack Thompson. Football like you've never seen it before in Sports Crazy. 6.30 Sunday on 10. Jason Rowe goes through off the half-back line. Kicks long, centre field. Getting up underneath it was red and there. Can't handle it. Through goes Sullivan. Drives to the half-forward line. Hocking with a chance if he gets a sit or kick it is clear. Could kick his second. The Western Australian recruit. 30 metres out. Going one, beat one. Chips away at goal. Oh, gee, I don't know why he didn't kick on his natural left leg. Came back into the right, forced himself on the angle, then came under pressure and missed from point blank range. You're quite right, Ian. The goal left foot was on then. Very kick for some unknown reason, decided to uh, try and make a certainty of it. And only, only sort of boxed up the whole effort. Kim Clump, 20 points as the lead to North. 16 minutes into the third quarter. Short pass was intended for Red and Lounder knocked it away. Reddy seizes it. He goes back now to Creek, puts him under pressure. Krieg's kick is a high one at half foot. Kick it! Oh, got into the right spot. Well, let's see if he can atone for that mistake just a few seconds ago. Robertson looked to have his name on this and then kick it, got clear of his opponent, flew over the top of Robertson, and he's got it now about 40 metres out directly in front. Into the breeze. There's the shot from behind. Kick number eight from the kick it. That's a better effort. It's a goal. North by 14 points. Krieg on the left leg. Trenorton waits for the bounce, gets it. Puts out a handball more in hope than anything. Well taken away by Van Dommel, smothered beautifully. A chance now for Jason Rowe, lost it. Slipped out quickly now by Bungerhern. Kicked into attack there by Krieg. Up towards Wildey, thumps it clear. Arnold, Slattery, under pressure, beautifully intercepted there. Done by Van Dommel, kicks up, here's a chance. Taken in the forward pocket, Braddy. 30 metres out and must make the distance from here. Craig Braddy on his lonesome. Difficult one to mark really in as much that it was floating all over the shop, but he's got it. Shouldn't have any trouble with the distance. The breeze is fishtailing just a little bit. The ball on its way, the umpire starts to move with it, but he's got it. Oh, two valuable goals to the dogs into the breeze, but they still trail. 8-5 to 9-7 on 10 sports action. Well, it was a top goal by Craig Braddy. It wasn't easy uh, completing that contract of a goal then. He took a very sort of a, uh, well, <laughs> somewhat a, a easier chest mark than it appeared. And um, then he went back and the wind was blowing a bit both ways. It wasn't an easy goal to uh, snare there, but he did it with consummate ease. That's a nice goal to Craig Braddy. And the dogs think a little closer. 8-5 to North, 9-7. Yeah, scoreless for the first 15 minutes of the quarter. They've kicked two into the breeze. Two important goals that have brought them back now with only eight points of North Adelaide. And they'll come home with the breeze in the last quarter, of course. North slightly into attack. Umpire Ricketts, partnered by Stephen Semler tonight. We'll put it down. Done a pretty good job too, these umps. Lounder, missed that one. Bennett tapped it forward. Wildey tries to work it out. Can't do so, and umpire Ricketts in to bounce it again. Good to see David Wildey back in league football, David. He, uh, he missed that grand final tragically last year. That injury is sustained uh, towards the end of the season. 19 minutes into the second half of the first Escort Cup game for 1988. Here's a chance now for North uh, for Centrals to go into attack. Van Dommel kicks up. Man to maker. Over the top. Fine mark. Big Rudy got up. He's about 45 out into the breeze. Here it is in replay. Big mark, man to maker. And he's got a chance now. Although this is a long shot into the breeze. Won't be easy. Won't be easy, Ian. He's a long kick. Graham, no, is starting to drop quickly into the square. Braddy can't. Here's a charge. Hocking slips it over. Snapshot away. And it's just offline. Van Dommel, who came down from the centre, couldn't quite hook it around the corner. And it's a point only to the dogs. They trail 8-6 to 9-7 on 10 sports action. Well, that mark by Rudy Mann to make it deserve better than that. It was a great mark. And the ever alert, Eddie Hocking fed that hand pass out quickly. But the point was the end result. Jason Rowe couldn't. He goes back to get it again now. The handball goes to Armfield, who's on the field for the first time. He comes back to Rowan now, Bennett. 
Bennett goes short to the lead of Sims, but the pass is too long for him. Back goes uh, Brendan Little for the Dodds. First there was Bunnahern, and the ball is out of play. So, an interesting uh, third quarter of this, and there'll be plenty of interest in the Dolly Show at 7.30 on Sunday. Join Dolly Parton and special guests Bert Reynolds and Whoopi Goldberg, 7.30, Sunday on 10. As she said about herself, a big woman just itching to get out. 9-7 to 8-6, back to the footy. Lang kicks in long up towards full forward, smart at the back, Whoa. The umpire said play on, almost had the grab, hard in trouble. This time the umpire's going to ping him for holding the ball and Pryor gets the kick on the half-back line. 9-7 to 8-6, the lights are on at Footy Park and Pryor to edge the dogs out of defence. He goes in short, Robertson didn't gain a great deal but then again they're kicking into the breeze and they've come back to just a 13-point deficit with the breeze at their backs in the last quarter so they're definitely in with a chance. Bennett, nice mark. He'll send them back into attack. Into time on third quarter. Bennett now from centre wing. 21 minutes played in each quarter. Time on in the third and fourth quarter. Half forward left. Sims boots it almost out of the park. Throw in there at that left half forward flank. North leading by seven points. And the question to be asked, Graham, is it going to be enough? I don't think so, uh, David. I declared my hand before. I felt if uh, Central could keep North down to a couple of goals from the 15-minute mark onwards, they'd probably uh, set this game up for a victory for Neil Curley's first as their coach. Riley shoots from long way out. Umpire starts to gallop well offline for the minor score only. Riley, who's playing in attack in the second half of the game, kicked a fine goal early in the quarter for his first. But on that occasion, he was offline a point only. And North now moved to 9-8, leading the Dogs 8-6. That's an eight-point advantage. Mark Botka with the ball. We'll bring it back into play to the outer side. Working to the front spot was Lang. The jump against him was from Bubna. Very difficult to get it out of there. Ian Lang is number 28 for North Adelaide. He's their only new recruit this year, or in this game so far. He struggled a bit early in that first quarter, was found wanting for pace somewhat, Graham, and uh, Mike Noonan took him off in the second term, but he's out there in this third quarter. Well, 18 years of age, it's very hard to make a fist of centre-half forward in league company, Dave, and he'll take time, but uh, he certainly got the body for it. Prior under pressure, trying to break clear and doing it well is Gurdham. Kicks towards the half forward line, coming to meet it. Oh, that's a fine mark, close to the ground. Smith, he looks to be in for a good season. Gregory Smith gets it out. Van Dommel, Krieg, back to Smith in the double play. Intercepted, Braddy now, Robertson. The dogs through the half forward line. They've got one to go. Smothered somewhat, but still a chance. Thomas, 45 metres out. Look for Hawkins, got him. Well, I thought they put one handball too much in. There's a little bit of a fracas behind play, but the umpire quickly sorts that out. And the action right back with number 36 in young Eddie Hocking to have a shot from 25 metres out right in front. The last handball was smothered, but they managed to recover from it. And this could be a most important goal. Hocking's nudged it through his first. The Dogs fight back. 9-6, they trail North Adelaide, 9-8. Well, the looping is a very dangerous proposition now, Central District. That was a really much needed goal. Here it is again with Jamie Thomas. Caught on his left foot, doesn't matter to Thomas. Pops it over Eddie Hocking, a guy that's been off the scene for probably two-thirds of last season. Started off with a bang, then sort of left the club for some unknown reason, but he's come back under Neil Curley, and that's his first goal for the game, and, and uh, Central now draw within two points of last year's Premier side. We've played two minutes of time on in this third quarter. Siren is nigh. Thump forward by Lounder. Braddy couldn't. Goes back to Jamie Thomas, and the Dogs are into attack again. Creed comes to meet it. In pursuit. Jason Rowe, with him was Clomp. An awkward one as uh, stealing it away from both of them was Kekadoy. Oh, he threw it between his legs. Greg slips it to Hocking. Hocking goes short. The pass. And he finds Braddy in that right forward pocket. Closer to half forward than in the pocket. Kick it goes by him again. Always oh, undecided. Sends a handball to Van Dommel that wasn't well dispatched. Van Dommel recovers well. Hooks it back. Here's a chance. Hocking. Centre half forward. Maybe marginally too far out to score but he will put the dogs very deep into attack and he'd want to get a hurry on because the siren is pretty close. The diminutive hocking, oh, he's around the man on the marks, going five metres, boots for goal, it's coming back and he's got it. Oh, great play by the little man, two goals in as many minutes and the dogs have hit the front as the siren sounds here at Football Park. It's three-quarter time and after a fine third quarter, 
Central Districts have hit the front. They lead by four points, Graham Campbell. Oh, what a classic goal by Eddie Hocking. All individual stuff, of course. He sold the dummy to the guy on the mark, ran around him, gained that valuable three or four metres he needed to make it a goal and popped it through with consummate ease. That's a top goal by Eddie Hocking. He's really burst onto the scene this quarter. So we'd expect it from them, and um, they're showing a little bit more class all over, but uh, so far a pretty even game. Thanks, Neville, for those comments. Well, last quarter about to get underway. Uh, Graham Campbell, David Darcy, and to pick up the call, in day. Yes, the start of the final quarter, first game, 1988. The Dogs by four points, kicking with the breeze. North Adelaide under stress. Can last year's Premier get themselves out of the tangle they're in at the moment? Mould gets up high, Darren Jarman needs help but it's going to be the Dodds first to the ball. Gee, if they get one quickly, it'll be uh, curtains for North Adelaide. It could be curtains for North Adelaide as they drive up towards their half four line. Through comes Braddy. Open goal. Cannot miss. Does not miss. And the Dodds off to a brilliant start in the final. Braddy kicks goal number two, and they lead the last season's Premier's 11-6 to 9-8 on 10 sports action. And, of course, that's just what North Adelaide wouldn't want. The goal within 30 seconds of resumption of play. Top piece of work, Andrew Moles thumped on a company mile. Darren Jarman picked the ball up, but Jamie Thomas was equal to the task. A young kicker got in the road again also. A long kick down to the forward line, and lurking behind the pack, we found Craig Braddy picking up the loose ball and popping it through. Something he doesn't do with, with a lot of ease at times, but it's a top goal. Central District by 10 points, a minute into the final quarter. Sims hold without it, Moles got it back to Robertson. Forward go the dogs again, it's a wobbly one at centre half forward. Difficult to mark, but oh, Braddy. Fine judgment, takes it on his chest. Dogs have looked very good since half time. Brady puts it towards Mandemaker. One hand, can't complete it, kick it, here's a chance, he boots it off the ground. Oh, but he's just offline, he shows great reading of the play, does Derek kick it, and just missed with that shot. 11-7 then the Dogs lead North 9-8. How about that Yannick Noah haircut? He looks like the Wilbur Wilson of 1988. Arnold kicks in, drives back towards the half-back line, quickly in green, slips it out, Smith puts it on its way, that's home! Oh, what a brilliant goal! Smith's first, kick number eight, Smith's second correction, and the Dogs starting to bound away in the final quarter, 12-7, they lead North Adelaide 9-8. Central District with a commanding 17-point lead at the three-minute mark of the final quarter. Into attack again, but Andrew Jarman will halt that one. Jarman goes short to the lead of Stephen Sims, well put. Sims has got a man loose, it's Peter Bennett. He's gone just a fraction too long for him, but Klomp's there to support. Klomp wheels onto the left foot, boots it in towards the square. Slattery's a chance, thumped clear by Paul Sullivan. Or Budner in the action. And in comes Colin Ricketts to bounce it, and it's been a great effort this game by Central District, particularly since half-time. Oh, no question. Um, they've really got the Neil Curley polish on them early in the season, uh, David. And Peter Butner at centre-half-back has been a success story tonight too, I believe. The bodies are in. They can't get the ball out. The umpire will rebounce it. Umpire Colin Ricketts. With him is Stephen Semler. Once again, the body's in, the strength throw shows out, Moulds gets it out, Bubner under pressure there. Comes out from Thomas, back now to Hocking at centre-half back. He pushes out the pass, goes short, Bubner thought about playing on Robertson under pressure. Gets out of it once, or gives it away to Darren Jarman. Not a good effort, he's on his left leg, straightens up on the right, goes for home with a long one. Getting back on it quickly is little, can't quite make it. But the ball, fortunately for the Dogs, is offline and one point is recorded to North Adelaide. They trail 9-9 to 12-7. And champion Andrew Jarman is back in the centre in his natural position. During that uh, third quarter, I felt that uh, Michael Noonan played games with his uh, central position. He played Stephen Riley there and Daryl Hart, I thought. And now Andrew Jarman's back in his natural spot. Watkins booming kick is into the centre of the ground. Kicker couldn't. Bennett caught. Boot off the ground. Gives an opportunity for Rowe. It hit umpire Semler, in fact. In goes Smith, who's looking a more complete player this year. Smith puts it towards centre half forward, almost Creed, Gurdon supports, goes after it again, in goes Jason Rowe for North Adelaide. 
Empire Semler in the bounce. 12 7 the dogs, 9 9 North Adelaide. Four and a half minutes into the final quarter. And you're watching the Escort Cup on 10 Sport Action. At the bounce on the half forward line. Smith actually gets the knock away, but straight to Sims. The running player, Carlaw, gets the set half back flank. North Adelaide out of defence with a long kick from Carlaw up towards Lang half forward line. Geez, a solid customer this lap. Half forward line, too far out to score. In short, the leader's on from Clomp, can't get there. Robertson back in defence, should take the easy one. Slips it over, Thomas, half back flank. Gets it out wide now. Krieg rides it beautifully from Carlaw. Puts out the pass, half forward line. Hocking can't over the top, Tiller. Quickly through Trenord and lost the cherry. Now it's Andrew Jarman, gets away on that left leg, goes out wide, Sanders a chance, centre wing, he's clear. Goes to Dasher, through the centre line he goes, looking for a lead, gets one now from Smart, kick two in the first, haven't seen him since, trip against that fellow, and the free kick will go now to Brendan Little, or is it going to be Butker on the half-back line? Butker it looks like, and don't forget, Tour of Duty, 7.30 Monday, the season's most powerful action drama, Tour of Duty, 7.30 Monday on 10. The kick into the centre is going to be marked by Peter Bennett, who gets it on quickly to Darren Jarman. Slight fumble by him, but he still manages a kick forward. Slatchy a chance off hands, pushes it out. Strong in defence, however, was Buckley. The handball goes wide to Pryor. The dog's out of defence again as Pryor's kick is a short one. Gurdon comes to meet it, sends it on to Van Dommel. Van Dommel pushes it for Thomas. Excellent work by Van Dommel. The Thomas handball goes towards Smith. He's in trouble. Backup support, however, from Thomas. Here's a chance. Hocking into the square, takes the mark and bangs it through. Third goal already, Hocking. Eighth kick, fine performance. The dogs go further ahead. The dogs by 22. North have got problems. Almost seven minutes into the final quarter. 21 minute quarters plus time on. And the 88 or the 87 Premier is pushing wind uphill. At the centre bounce. Moles against Bennett. Moles gets the thump away. Straight to Thomas. Played well. Puts it high. Kick it's going to get the sit. Can't bring it down. Loose ball. It's all North Adelaide back there first. Or Tiller's going to get back there. Hocking with him. Tiller gets well shepherded, but he's quite content to let the ball run out of play. Throw in full forward left pocket, the dog's in attack, and leading by 22 points. Yeah, I like the comment, Ian. That last goal was brought about by Jamie Thomas, the way he followed up. There's the crowd tonight. It's been, been a big build-up, actually, for this first game of the year. But Jamie Thomas set that goal up. It was a great bit of run on play. Eddie Hockman finished the work off at his third goal. Throw in the left forward pocket, or man to make her up very high. Krieg. Has a hook towards goal. Miraculous if he gets it. It's gone close. Almost kick it in the square. The ball's still in play. Kick it. Hooks it back in towards the goal. Gurdon! Oh, he's got it. Marvellous play by the dogs as Roger Gurdon boots his first. He's elated. So would Neil Curley be as the dogs stream ahead now. 14-7 to North 9-9. A fine exhibition. And once again, the mercurial skills of this Derry kicker, the boy from uh, Claremont and Perth, screwed it around. Almost going to go through, I thought. Gurdon hopped it on its way with a little tap, a sort of a Stanley Matthews tap through uh, to make a certainty of it, which you must do, of course. You can't uh, rely on the ball bouncing through. Uh, top of it by Derry Kickett and finished off uh, with Roger Gurdon running in from an open goal. 14-7, plays 9-9. Moulds up, whips out the handball. Thomas again. The dogs into attack up towards the half-forward line. Clisby, well run down by Gurdon. The handball away, not conclusive. A chance for the dogs to go back in again. Brady on the half-forward line. Man to make her in the pocket, but oh, the kick's a shocker. And Arnold takes it at the second grab. Not a good effort there by Brady. On his left leg, should have been better. Tiller gets it out wide. The Blayton push in the back there. The free kick will have to go to North Adelaide. And Sanders will get it at centre-half back. Nine minutes into the last quarter, the dogs on top. 14-7 to North 9-9. That's a good mark taken out there by Jason Rowe. Rowe for North Adelaide. He's on centre wing out of side. They need a lift and they need it badly now. They are lamenting, trailing by 28 points at the moment. Lang, too long for him as uh, it's Paul Sullivan, the North Melbourne recruit, comes back to try and get the ball card throwing in that left half forward flank, north into attack. Well, the quarters will only go about 25 minutes, including time on. So north have got a huge job. But gee, 
have the dogs bounded into 1987 or 1988 in a great fashion. Little couldn't get it out. Booted off the ground by Van Dommel. Up towards centre field. Wildy meets it well. Puts it out wide now to Riley. That's Stephen Riley. On the left leg is Peter Bennett. Goes in short looking for Sanders. Half forward line. He's clear. Got a chance to have a look. But puts it in high for the Leapers. Getting back underneath the ball. Sends over the top. And a brilliant mark. Stephen Sims always got the sit. He got up terribly early. Have a look at this. He's up already. Sat up there. Pushed out his opponent. At the second grab. Pulled down a screamer. Stephen Sims. North Adelaide. Need him right now. Tenth kick. Having a look. Oh, that's a floating punt kick. And North Adelaide hasn't used the ball well this evening. Not their normal form. And just the point results from his kick. Yeah, Coach Michael Noonan wouldn't be happy with this performance. I don't think he'd be uh, terribly deterred by it, though, because they lost their first four escort cut games last year. Uh, North Adelaide and still won the premiership. On the ground, taken by Burton for North Adelaide. He dispatches it wide to Darren Jarman. He's left it behind. He's good enough to go back and get it. He needs help here. It appears that may have come off the boot of uh, Central District play, but it's uh, not shown that way, and uh, there'll be a throw in at right half forward. Sledgehammer, 7.30 on Tuesday, television's most outrageous and unconventional cop returns this Tuesday at 7.30, Sledgehammer on 10. Sounds great, throw in half forward right flank and that's what North Adelaide need right now, a sledgehammer. Trying to get through this central defence which has stood up so well this evening, 14-7 to 9-10. Gee, there's a few players on the ball I can tell you, there's got to be 14, 15, 16 players there, arms and legs everywhere. Going through or trying to get out of the pack there was Smith or Sullivan it was. Driven up towards the half forward line. North in attack. They need a goal. Pryor under pressure. Sims can't get it. Free can. Gives it to Buckner. Throws it away. Moulds under pressure. The big fella hasn't got it. Out comes Klopp. Barges his way through. Gives a chance here now. Burton gets it out wide. Andrew Jarman puts it out further. Sanders on the left leg. Uses his pace well. Drags it back. But not far enough. North Adelaide can't take a trick at the moment. That's their second point in a minute, and they need goals. Always under pressure, North Adelaide. Then, irregardless of who is going to have a shot for goal, the Central District uh, Defence did a top job in keeping pressure on the player about to uh, win possession of the ball. 26 points is the margin. Central's in front. David Sanders appears to be limping too after that uh, little incident. Fire's whistle has sounded. It will be a line ball, and he'll bounce it at centre half forward. Pomp's in the action again, and there's again there's a bit of a scuffle on the ground. Empire Ricketts keeping a close watch on it. Well, two fiery customers. Pomp and Van Dommel met head on. Moles plucked it out of the air. Bubner, a loose ball. He was being had his arms pinned according to the umpire and he's going to get the free. He's a centre half back and he's played pretty well tonight, Peter Bubner, as have most of his mates. They've had a very good game since, well, particularly quarter time. They had the breeze in the second quarter and they pegged North Adelaide back. In fact, they got in front by five points at half time and uh, since then it's been all Central District. Well, Pomp's in it again. Still having a word to the umpire. Greg it is that puts it forward. Thump clear, kick it almost. Coming to meet it is uh, Jamie Thomas. Nose over the ball, can't get it out. Finally, it's North Adelaide who get it clear to Carlaw. The Carlaw handball is wide. It's given kick it the opportunity. He needs to sit here and needs help. Oh, cleverly done to Krieg. Off goes Mandemaker on the lead. Krieg puts it up for him. Arnold, the spoiler from behind, and he'll be first to recover as he gets it back to Andrew Jarman, who's in trouble. Holding the ball they want, but they're not going to get it. Arnold goes after it again. He's dispossessed by Van Dommel. Finally, Quisby knocks it out. Only as far as Sullivan. Sullivan's short kick is a bad one, and Arnold takes it for North Adelaide. North need a score. Slattery, Andrew Jarman. The running par is Burton. He streams through the forward line. Kicks out long on the lead. Now is Smart, and he's got it. Well played, Burton, but Smart's a fair way out. Not confident of making the distance. Burton on the left leg. Backs up for the double play. But once again, the North Adelaide attack is offline, and they record their third point in two minutes. And once again, they still need goals, not points. The idea is right. The execution not quite as uh, good as Michael Noonan would have liked. Bunga Hearn directs it towards Smith. It's too long for that player. Sanders tried to boot it out of the air and didn't succeed. But he's going to get it this time. Got a nice sit. His handball was intended for Bennett, but it was wide of him. Bennett was good enough to call after it and get it back to Tiller. Well, they're messing around with it. Sanders, Bennett. Now they can get clear. Let's see what they can do with it. Use of the ball is required, and they get it to Stephen Riley. 
Riley wastes no time, thumps it into the forward pocket. Butker getting back, fine mark. Oh, wonderful mark from Butker under pressure from Smart. And he'll uh, turn that defensive, or good defensive work by Butker will turn that into attack as his kick was intended for David Green out there. And he's going to get a free kick for hanging on. It's against Darren Jarman. David Darren Jarman didn't like that decision, I tell you. David Green playing his first senior game, confidently gets it to Thomas. North Adelaide starting to drag. The Bulldogs looking confident. Robertson half-back flank. They lead by 25 points. Robertson not in a hurry. The umpire calls him to play on. I suppose that's fair enough in a limited game, a limited time game. Clisby gets back. With him is Braddy. Clisby going to get one for a high tackle at centre half back. North need a goal and they need it quickly. 15 minutes gone, about 10 left, I would think. North, he got that kick away, then grabbed for the knee. Did Clisby? Doesn't look all that healthy. But this time the umpire is going to see a free kick and it's going the other way, going to Jamie Thomas. Jamie Thomas at centre wing, hands it off to kick it. He hooks it back, looking for Van Dommel. It's too long for him. Whoops. Pop wanted to go, but ran straight into hockey. Now he's gone. Gets it back to Clisby. He was in trouble momentarily as Clisby hooks it towards the centre of the ground. And there's a fine mark taken there by Paul Sullivan. The North Melbourne recruit lays it off to Pryor. Pryor dispatches it wide. All good and all alone. Here's a chance for the Dogs as Gurdon goes to Mandamaker and finds him. The cry of Rudy was evident. And Mandamaker out in front of Arnold takes it now 35, 40 metres out, 45 degree angle. The big fella, has he kicked goals? He's got one in the second quarter. This is his fourth kick, Mandamaker's second goal. No offline, point only. Dogs 14-8, North 9-12. Well, one of the impressive uh, points towards Central District's uh, win tonight, or will be a win, has been they've done it without the help of Rudy Mandemaker. The big full forwards only kicked one goal, and normally most of their wins last year were uh, brought about by Mandemaker's goal-kicking ability. Oh, great tackle by Jamie Thomas. He ran straight through David Rudy, laid him to rest. But Rudy, like the strong player he is, gets up quickly. Doesn't mean to say he's still breathing. Look at this for a hip and shoulder. That is how it's done. We shouldn't get his feet off the ground. You lose uh, all contact with the turf. You're in trouble usually. Ball in the forward pocket. The dogs in attack. 14-8 to 9-12. A ball up. The dogs just waiting for Lounder to come on. Mould's having a spell. Going through quickly. Van Dommel. Jason Rowe. All that tackles a little high, and the half-back flank gets a kick. Plus he's 15 metres from about the half-back flank. Only about four minutes plus time on left in this game as Rowe gets the free kick at half-back. Don't forget the Torrens Port game follows immediately the conclusion of this one. Andrew Jarman, Klomp on the run for him. Now they're building. Klomp goes short. Here's a chance for Slattery. Slattery trying to kick the ball in front of it is held on the arm and he is going to take a free kick at centre-half forward. Well, he had the run of the ball then and then just lost it for the moment. The free kick was evident. And Wayne Slattery at centre half forward. We'll have difficulty into this breeze. Both sides have found it difficult to kick goals from this distance. Let's see what Slattery can do. He's 40 metres out, he's directly in front. He's going to be touch and go, distance or not, no, it hasn't quite made it. The umpire is indicating it's going to be a North Adelaide mark and Ian Lang in the square has been paid. So Lang, first game player, first senior game for North Adelaide from point blank range. Do they ever need a goal? 18 and a half minutes into the quarter. They trail at the moment by 26 points. They've put him on a very acute angle. Lang boots and hits the post. The dogs by 25 points. They go into attack again. 
held up this time by Tiller. Lost the ball. Searching for it now is Armfield. Gets it back out wider. Sanders. Now Darren Jarman. Puts it out short towards centre wing. Hart's there. They're down by 25 points. 19 minutes gone. Armfield backs up. Oh, he's got to throw that one away in a hurry. And he throws it straight out of bounds as young David Green approached him. And the ball is out in front of the members stand here on the western side of the oval. North down by 25. 20 minutes into the quarter. It's just about beyond them now. Smart has the front spot. Creed. The handball over the top gives Darren Jarman the chance to go back and retrieve. He's caught by Pryor. Holding the ball, the decision. And that was a very strong tackle by Mark Pryor. His tackling by the Dogs tonight has been very good. As Pryor puts it long, looking for man to make it. Runs himself under it. Arnold shows better judgment at the back. He dispatches it wide to Andrew Jarman. A drop kick from Jarman. Wobbles towards centre wing. Creed reads it off hands. Puts it to Thomas, who's played well. Thomas on the left foot. Goes short. Oh, Smith almost. Couldn't quite control it. Play on the call. Now they sit on it. Umpire Semler comes in to bounce it about 15 metres away from the dog goal. But, oh, gee, they've played well, Graham. There's no question. Uh, Central have just uh, grown another leg tonight and what we saw towards the end of last season. And we all knew this might happen because of the uh, return to football of Neil Curley and certainly it has in large chunks and they've beaten last year's Premier side. Their tackling and chasing, Graham, has been first class. Something perhaps they didn't do enough of last year. Tiller off the half back line, kicks long towards centre field. Buckner waits, can't bring it down. Lounder looks for support. The big fellow can't find it, can't get the ball out. But the umpire rules in his favour and will bounce at centre wing. 14 8 plays, 9 13. We're into time on the final quarter, and it looks to be the dogs by plenty. Umpire Semler puts it down. Cree come into the game in the second half, was a bit quiet in the first term. Here's a chance at the back for the speedy hocking. Couldn't control it. Trenorden could. Got it to Wildy. Wildy goes short. The pass is intended for Hart, who's had a real quiet one tonight. He puts it on quickly. Sanders as is. Chips in short and will find Andrew German. No, he won't. Or oh, intercepting well was Van Dommel. Thomas goes back to that player. Van Dommel puts it towards centre half forward and a good mark taken by Craig Brady at centre half forward. He's been a focal point for them. He's played very strongly. And their aerial uh, supremacy tonight has been obvious. Brady's kick is into the square. Mandemaker's at the back. Kick it. Tries to appeal for a free kick. Well, Tiller ran into trouble. It came off his shoulder. And ricocheted out of bounds in the left forward pocket. The Dogs have got this one well and truly wrapped up. They're leading by 25 points. And we've had almost uh, a minute and a half of time on. Ten metres around from their goal again. Smart gets up. Can't get it out. The ball comes out, the kick, it hooks around the corner. All North Adelaide and the defensive mark taken by Daryl Hart. Only five kicks to Daryl Hart, but as Graham told you, he started on the bench. But he hasn't had a big night. Darren Jarman gets it from Wildey. Now Hart through the half-back line go North Adelaide. Quickly Clisby from the handball on the left leg. Seemed to grab his knee a little while ago and been proppy since then. Because he had a major reconstruction or operation on it. Handball out by Pryor, out long, looking for Thomas, waiting for Robertson to give it to him, which he does do. Puts it out for Braddy. Centre half forward, Braddy does it well. Splendidly put, and the big fellow's got a chance from 45, 50 metres out. Braddy should make the distance. He's wind assisted, perhaps not as strong as it was early. Tenth kick, good performance by Braddy at centre half forward. Heads towards the lake end. And it's a nice looking kick, and that's home. Third goal. <laughs> the dogs are storming home to victory here. They're 15 8 to 9 13. Braddy has just kicked his third goal. And he's been a fine performer for them tonight at centre-half forward. And those three goals all in the last half, David, uh, it's significant. I think that with Braddy's emergence came the Bulldogs' uh, finding form. 31 points now is their lead as uh, Jarman tries, Andrew Jarman that was, tried to get the handball forward. Or Van Dommel's clear again. His kick wobbles towards Trenorden. Trenorden gets it back to Armfield, who pushes it out wide to Darren Jarman. He eludes the tackling Robertson. 
Now Darren Jarman goes towards half forward and Siren has gone. Oh, what a wonderful start to 4-0 uh, Curley. His first game with the Dogs and what a convincing victory it's been for him. They finished up great winners by 31 points. Graham Campbell.